short earning video this week. I didn't end up playing some of my earning plays that I planned last video because of the vaccine news. But before we begin, I just want to say I'm not a financial advisor, and none of these trades are recommendation. They're just for entertainment and educational purposes. From last week, we put on an Electron Arts trade where we sold the 112 and 145 strangle. After the earnings came out, the stock dropped beyond its expected move. So in my defense, when the stock opened the next day, I rolled my 145 calls down to the 126 calls, and I was down about $20 by the end of the week. When Monday came along, we didn't get much movement in the stock, and by time decay, I was able to close the trade out for a profit of about $15 per lot. Nothing great, but to be able to get out of a losing trade for break even, I'm happy with that. Also did a win resort earnings trade last week, where I sold the 67.5 and 95 strangle. After earnings, the stock pulled back, but within its expected move. And during the day, it rallied backed up unchanged, and I was up about $70 to $80 per lot. I decided to hold onto the trade a little longer, but with the vaccine news, it caused the stock to spike up. So in defense, I decided to roll my 67.5 puts up to the 95 puts. Currently at the end of the week, I'm down about $400 per lot. I'm going to continue to manage this trade and hopefully get out break even. Merit was also an earnings trade from last week, where it sold the 90 and the 115 strangle. After reporting earnings, the stock climbed higher, but within its expected move, I was up about $60. Again like win, I decided to hold on to the trade a little longer, and again with the vaccine news, it caused the stock to spike up. So in defense again, I rolled my puts up from the 90 puts to the 115 puts. And at the end of the week, I was down a little over $200 per lot. But we'll continue to manage this and hopefully get out break even. The first earnings trade I did this week was Disney. I was hesitant to put on the trade initially because of the run up from the vaccine news. But Disney has been treating me well and usually trades within its expected move. With the exception of the last earnings move where it moved well beyond its expected move. But I'm bullish on Disney long term and I want to play it to the upside. So in the end, I decided to sell the December 115 puts. I already have a decent sized position in Disney, so I played this very small and a little further out of the money. When the earnings came out, the stock spiked up. Initially, it was beyond its expected move, but it pulled back down to within its expected move. And during the day, it pulled back even further and I was up about $60 per put by the end of the week. I decided to also play DraftKings this week. I had a pretty decent sized position in DraftKings, but have taken off a good portion of it going into earnings but I still have a small position in it. We don't have much history to go off by when it comes to earnings since the stock is pretty new. I decided to play it to the upside and sold a wide ratio spread. I bought the 37 puts and sold two of the 35 puts for pretty much break even. This trade would be a home run if the stock pulled back to $35. I could make $200 per lot if it does. But when the earnings came out, the stock rallied beyond its expected move, but pulled back when the stock opened. I'm going to hold on to this trade probably till it expires. And in the event if it drops further, this trade could make more money. But if it continues to rally, it won't hurt me in any way. For next week, Walmart will be reporting its earnings before the market opens on Tuesday. Walmart has typically traded within its range the last 5 out of 6 times. I think I'll probably be leaning towards selling a strangle since the number of positive earning moves versus negative the last 6 times has been 50-50. Home Depot is also reporting before the market opens on Tuesday as well. There has been 2 times where it traded beyond its expected move out of the last 6 times. But I will definitely take a look at the options and most likely be selling a strangle and see if I can get far enough from the expected move while also collecting a decent credit. Lowe's on the other hand is reporting before the market opens on Wednesday. I will definitely be taking a look at Home Depot's earnings and deciding if I want to play Lowe's. But I will definitely take a look at the options and see if I can find anything interesting. But if I do play their earnings, the strategy I use will be influenced by Home Depot's earnings. Target is also reporting before the market opens on Wednesday. Whether I play Target's earnings will be totally dependent on Walmart's earnings. We can see from the historical moves, it has moved well beyond its expected move to the upside many times. If Walmart reports good earnings, I'll be looking at maybe selling a put in Target if we can get far enough from the expected move, while also collecting a decent credit. Otherwise, I'll probably just pass on this trade. And the last interesting earnings trade this week for me would be Nvidia, which is reporting after the market closed on Wednesday. There has been one time where it has moved beyond its expected move to the upside. But it usually trades within its expected move. I'm leaning towards selling a bullish strangle into his earnings. If you like this series and would like me to continue it, please drop me a like down below. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me down in the comment section below. And also, if I miss any great earnings trade, please let me know down below as well. And as always, if you haven't subscribed yet, please make sure to smash the subscribe button. And thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.